Mmm, hemp. Uh, so I got my energy drink of choice out. Uh, come out here and mess around. I'm gonna clean up the freaking garage, guys. Um, you guys seen there where I was telling you I fell down. So, I'm gonna pick up this freaking mess. My arm still hurt, my knee hurts. It's no fun, guys. But, um, yeah, that's the uh, plan for the day is uh, pick up some of this mess and stuff that's out here because I got shit just laying everywhere and it's driving me crazy. Ah! Got the heater out and all this other crap. It's everywhere, guys. So, yeah, that's the way she's working. Too much stuff, nowhere to walk. Pumpkins! Now I know why I never come outside. Freak. So, um, yeah. Out here messing around. Dragged a snowblower out front in a uh, doghouse that I got. That big, that great big doghouse that we had. So I got it out there with for sale sign dealy on it. And then, uh, yeah, the neighbor across the street, they're over there remodeling their house. And she was asking me about a window. And I was over talking to her for probably 10 minutes. And then my neighbor seen me out and freaking he come over. You know, my drunken neighbor over here to the left. Um, he's, uh, wanting me to work on his, uh, uh, John Deere again. I told him cheap price to freaking fix the tire on it because the damn thing's going to flat. But, um, yeah, so he's wanting me to work on that thing. Um, yeah, and I told him, I was like, it's going to be at least Friday before I can even attempt to mess with it. I was like, I'm trying to clean up the garage today. So we were talking to him for freaking 20 minutes, you know, freaking dicking around. Man, I know why I don't go outside. Uh, I got the snapper standing up, guys. So uh, she's been in this little corner here and I need to make room, but uh, I figured a while as I had it up here, I'd show you this bracket that I got on the bottom. I've never took it off of there, um, mowed the yard and stuff with it. The only thing that I noticed um, with this bracket on here, um, it does uh, make the turning radius a little lighter than what I like it to be. Because um, when you turn all the way, and I did notch it, which you guys can see how this has got this notch in here. Um, I notched it out so that way it did turn better because it would only turn to here. So if you look at this, it would only turn to about there before. So it gave me that extra you know, a little bit. It actually needs more than that, but I'm gonna take this bracket off of there um, because it don't need to be on there anymore. Um, and that's just a standard craftsman bracket um, with the holes uh, changed a little bit. And um, I modified where I had to cut a piece off of one you guys probably won't see this. Hold on here. Okay, so down in here, um, you can see how I got this this bracket. Okay, and that came with the kit that I had, um, and it's just welded onto the this beam here, and then it's put up across that way. And all I did was just weld it together on there, and it's like that on both sides. So I got one of those on both sides. So. Okay, guys. So here's this bracket again. So. Um, I'm trying to remember if I had to drill this hole or not, I can't remember. But um, I know this hole was there. If you guys are here, she's just a welded piece of steel. And this is when I first started welding, so she's kind of crappy, but I've covered it up with paint so she don't look bad. But um, yeah. So, but this is just a factory bracket, guys. I'm good at doing this to myself. I get to a point where I'm just like, ah, fuck it. Throw some shit away. So then. All the stuff out of the corner disappears. Where did it go? Oh no. Now the whole garage is freaking full of junk again. Uh, about half of the stuff is going to go away. I'll pile it up out here. Get rid of the crap. I'm tired of it. So I've got three speaker boxes and all kinds of junk. I mean, I got a box for 12s, a box for 10s. I got a box for. That's another one. For, I think this is a. I think this one's for a 12. Um. You know, parts and pieces, lots and lots of boxes for, you know, eBay boxes and stuff. And I don't sell nothing on eBay hardly anymore. If I need a box, I'll go pick it up. Um, so those will probably go out to the recycling. Um, unless I'll post them. I don't know. I think I'm just going to take them out to the recycling on Tuesday. Um, yeah. It's got to go. Yeah, and my neighbor gave me this thing too. Um, one of his friends came and dropped it off to him. Um, they replaced it with a newer model. So it'd be a perfect powder coat oven, but um, there's no way it'd run out in the garage though. So I don't have a clue if it works or not. I think she's gonna be scrap. Ah! Okay, so friggin' mask, guys. Look at this. So rearranging some more. I said, I'm tired of the crap. So had a uh, little hiatus there for a few minutes, uh, a couple hours there. I had to uh, 
um, go take my daughter to a, or not my daughter, but my son to a uh, allergy shot thing. Um, so we're back from that. Wife decided that she's going to the hospital because she's got a messed up foot. It's been messed up for a few days and it's just too much for her to handle now. She thought she was going to be able to walk it off, but it just it ain't walking off. So what we're doing is, is I'm digging in this hole, which y'all probably not going to be able to see. Okay, so yeah, this hole that's back here, you can see the one shelf right here. I'm going to take that out and I'm going to build a couple shelves in here because um, I'm going to take this one out and chop it up and then use it back here to put shelves up there and just build shelves all the way up because um, this is a uh, this is, here's a sheet of plywood um, it is cut on the one side I noticed I think that it's just under four feet across so so from there to here is just under four feet so if I chop it up into like three pieces and you know or two pieces and put back here and uh, I'm gonna take this uh, hold on here let me get some light back here guys well freak my lights goofed up Anyhow, but I'm going to chop that up and put the build my shelves back there and do it like I did over here. So that way, um, this stuff ain't going to go anywhere. I mean, these have got 6x6s, six six, or not 6x6, six six, but 2x6s six in there holding this shelf up here. Um, but this is way overkill for what I'm going to use it back here for. So like I said, I got there's some pegboard back here I'm going to take down. Um, and uh, this one, there's a 2x10, 2x10, 2x6. It's, I think it's eight or eight or ten foot long. That's across there. I'm gonna take that down. Like I said, build me a shelf, stuff like here, and uh, get this uh, party rocking. And ah, bright light. Okay, so y'all probably can barely see. Him. Get the wand of power out. Okay, so she's uh, 40 inches to the bottom of this. Okay, so this is a two by six cross chair, and it's 40 inches up. Um, the reason why I did that so high is um, that way I could back a lawnmower right up underneath of this if I need to. So uh, that's why she's so high, but um, gives me plenty of room to go all the way up because um, there's a, uh, you know, cause these are eight foot ceilings in here, so 40 inches up. So I got another, you know, 50 inches or so from the bed here up. So yeah, I hear something butt off. It's like 45 degrees outside, and it's only six o'clock, and it's like just about dark outside, guys. So um, yeah, I think I'm gonna pack her up for today, and. Uh, shove a few of these things back in the garage because I stuffed some stuff outside so that way I can do this but um next project is going to be moving all this stuff figuring out what I'm keeping what I'm getting rid of and it's going to go on the shelf what I'm going to keep and then the other stuff is going to go on a pile to get rid of so um so we'll see what else goes on for today guys well uh, I'm tired so we'll see what goes on for next time so until next time guys thanks for watching hit the thumbs up for me bye bye